respected viewers, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Subject of the speech is World of Dreamland and the World of Reality. When people go to sleep, they enter in the dreamland and see various types of dreams. Sometimes they fly in the air and sometimes they travel in the forests, valleys and colorful gardens. Sometimes they eat delicious foods and drink. But when they wake up, all of these go in the air and they find themselves lying down on the bed and feel no impression of their dreams. Same is the example of our worldly life. As we travel, eat, drink and do good or bad actions, but after passing 40, 50 or even the 100 years of our lives, we find no mark of our golden days except the weakness of the old age. This is the reality that every tasty food or drunken able drinks loses their taste when they reach in the stomach. Only the tongue relishes its taste. Even the sexual desire ends after a few moments and when the couple separates each other, they feel normal and they find no sign of it. In fact, all the properties and effects of this world are a false second. The Holy Quran reveals. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعلموا أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب ولحب ودينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد كماصر غيس أعجب الكفار نباته ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يكون خطاما وفي الآخرة عذاب شديد ومغفرة من الله ورضوان وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور صدق الله العظيم Know that the life of this world is only play an idle talk and pageantry and boosting among you and rivalry in respect of wealth and children as the likeness of vegetation of terrain whereof the growth is pleasing to the husbandman but afterward it dries up and you see it turning yellow then it becomes straw and in the hereafter there is grievous punishment and also forgiveness from Allah and His good pleasure. Whereas the life of the world is but matter of illusion. But when the time of the dreamland of this world ends, then a new era of a real life begins. And this is a life after death. Soon after its end, when one lay to rest in the grave, then two angels, Munkar Nakir, come in the grave and put on three questions on the dead as, first is, who is your Lord? And second is, what is your religion? And the third is, what is your holy prophet? Peace be upon him. And if 
direct replies, Allah Almighty is my Lord and Islam is my religion and Muhammad is my Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Then the angels say to him, you are successful one, so go to the sound sleep and there is no disturbance and grief over you at all. And on the other hand, if he is not a Muslim and is a follower of another religion except Islam, he will answer to every question, I do not know who is my Lord and what is my, what is my religion and who is my Prophet, peace be upon him. Then the angels beat him by severe punishment. His grave becomes so narrow that his ribs rush into one another and various types of torments are subdued over him. It is mentioned that when a faithful believer who offered prayers four or five times daily, regularly, when he dies and put in the grave, and Muntanati put on him three questions. Then he sees the time of Asar. It means the afternoon prayer. prayer. So he says to the angels, Look, this is the time of my prayer and I have to offer it. First I shall offer my prayer, then I answer your questions. Then the angels will reply to him, O the slave of God, it is not your worldly life but it is your life after death and you are now in the grave. Here you are not bound to offer any prayer or act upon other Sharia orders. It is the time to get the reward of your actions done in your worldly life. But he insists to offer prayer. Then the angels go to Allah Almighty and mention the whole story. Allah Almighty says that he is my such a slave that no worldly business prevented him from offering prayers or action upon other my commands. So let him offer prayers. I have forgiven all of his sins. It is said that when a faithful believer who loved the Holy Quran and recites it daily, when dies and is buried in the grave, then the Holy Quran appears there in the shape of a beautiful man having bright face and says to him, My friend, do not worry despite all of your relatives and friends have left you alone, but I am with you. I shall make recommendation for your forgiveness and surely that will be accepted and after it the grave becomes full of light. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said that grave was rather a hole from the holes of the hellfire or the small garden from the gardens of paradise. In fact, grave is as an examination hall where the answer sheet 
comprising the three questions will be given to everyone whether he is Muslim or non-Muslim good or bad and the reality is that no one can answer these questions correctly but the one who is the true Muslim as it is mentioned before that our past worldly life is like the dream and all our actions go in the air but those done under the commands of Allah Almighty are everlasting and immortal. These are the best provisions for us taken from this world of dreamland to the world of reality. It means life in the hereafter. These are the Baqiyat Salihat. It means ever remaining good actions. The Holy Quran reveals A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينَهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا مُقْرَهُ كِتَابِيَا إِنِّي ذُنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ فِسَابِيَا فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَاضِيَةٍ فِي جِنَّةٍ عَالِيَةٍ قُتُوفُهَا دَانِيَا قُلُوا وَشْرَدُوا حَنِيئًا بِمَا أَسْلَحْتُمْ فِي الْأَيَّامِ الْخَالِيَا صدق الله الرجيم Then as for him who has given his record in his right hand, he will say, take, read my book. Surely I know that I should have to meet my reckoning. Then he will be in blissful state, in a high garden where of the clusters or in easy reach and it will be set unto those therein eat and drink at ease for that which you sent on before you in past days. In short, this is the time to do good actions according to the teachings of Islam so that we may succeed in this life and also in the life of hereafter. May Allah Almighty give us tawfiq to act upon all of His commands. Ameen. Ramana Alina. Illa al-Bulaul Mumeen.